Hi, I'm John of John's Carnivorous Plants, and this is my indoor nursery. Today we're going to go over the tools of the carnivorous plant trade. And the first one that I can say firmly that you should definitely get, forcep tweezers. Not just regular tweezers, but the ones with the little forcepies. Having that little extra hook, oh, that's so nice to be able to actually like get plants planted. You can have them like this, get them right into the soil, get them nice and good very nice also it just that little extra you know i don't know it's just it, it's nice to have the curve to the tweezer i've had other tweezers in the past and i picked these ones up off of amazon i think they were like two three bucks for two of them very cheap very awesome next up though pipettes definitely get yourself some pipettes if you have a good amount of pitcher plants and sundews very easy to apply maxi directly to them or to like fill up a pitcher if you got pitcher plants that are very small it's very easy to you know get that nice little plastic bit you know fedangled on in without damaging the pitcher and fill them on up and yeah that that's one that took me a while to get hit to is that yeah these are really awesome for your you know smaller nepenthes or smaller heliampro now, one that, oh man, these guys are, you can tell these are definitely old. Spring-loaded trimmers. Save your wrist. That spring was designed with you in mind. So if you got a lot of pruning to do, or just even a little bit of pruning, save your wrist. Don't use regular scissors. It just, yeah, it's a pain to be able to just have to like, ugh, move them back open every single time. And as somebody with some wrist problems from a previous occupation, I definitely recommend be as ergonomic as possible. Repetitive stress injuries are not fun. And then, last but not least, spray bottle. For both misting with water, and also if you have a bunch of plants like me, you can use it to mist your maxi on them. These are the tools of the trade. Now, I do also occasionally employ things like, you know, chopsticks here and there, to which chopsticks have so much use. Very good for, uh, you know, digging into your soil, making nice little holes to plant little baby plantlets in. Allows you to kind of like very carefully plant something in if you're uh, like trying to guide some roots in without damaging them. <coughs> There's all kinds of different uses for a chopstick in uh, the carnivorous plant hobby. Most of which aren't even very obvious. The next time you're at a, you know, your favorite local restaurant uh, that is serving Chinese food or Asian food in general that has chopsticks, by all means, pick yourself up an extra pair, bring them home and uh, use them with your plants, especially if they're clean. That's a big thing. Make sure your chopsticks are sterilized. I actually had a bit of an issue last year in realizing that I actually was spreading fusarium through some parts of my collection by using a, uh, the same set of chopsticks over and over again. And now I have a new rule of anytime I'm doing new propagations, new set of chopsticks. <laughs> so yeah, take that with, for, with what you will. Those are the tools of the trade. Hope you enjoyed this. Please like, subscribe, check out the Carnivorous Plant Discord down in the description or buy a plant for me. Helps out a lot. Thank you so much for supporting me and I'll catch you on the next one. Goodbye.